Good day po mga viewers po namin, mga karadyo natin. Welcome to another episode of SCAN Education. Shoutout po sa ating mga SCAN members sa Africa, Europe, Canada, sa Middle East, and the United States of America. Discuss naman natin ngayon ang licensing procedure sa United States. Yes, marami rin tayong mga SCAN members na nasa US at para naman ito sa kanila. Pagamat marami tayong mga scan doon na license lang, discuss natin, paano ba magkaroon ng Federal Commission, Communications Commission o FCC issued license? Karagdagang information na rin ang episode na ito sa ibang mga karadyo natin na makita nila ang process ng amateur radio regulations sa iba't ibang mga bansa na hindi naman halos nagkakaiba. Yes, ang amateur radio service kasi ay uh, worldwide in nature kaya iisa lang ang principle, principle of operation sa anumang panig ng mundo. Simulan na natin! Our dear viewers, this is common to all countries of the world. The respective communications commission governs amateur radio licensing. Maybe the first information we could give is who governs amateur radio licensing procedures in the United States of America. FCC governs the amateur radio regulations in the US. FCC grants amateur radio licenses of any age to individuals that demonstrate an understanding of amateur radio rules, its operation and safety. There's no exact prescribed age like here in the Philippines. And as a general rule, any interested individuals as young as 5 years of age can take the examination in the United States. Now, who supervises the licensure examination? The FCC provides the licensure examination through volunteer examiners or VEs. The volunteer examiners or VEs are responsible for the proper conduct and supervision of the examination. Volunteer examiners' responsibilities are of serving examinees throughout the examination, determining correctness of the exam's answers, issuing certificate of successful completion of the examination, termination of the test due to non-compliance with the examination's instructions, they also coordinate and administer examination sessions. So our dear viewers, should you want to apply for an examination, look for these volunteers who can guide you on how to take the FCC Amateur Radio Licensure Examination. You can visit the American Radio Relay League ARRL website for more information. We provided the link below to the description of this video. You may want to see also the Federal Communications Commission website. What about the classes of amateur radio licenses in the U.S.? Are they the same as the licenses here in the Philippines? Generally, FCC issues three license operator classes. The technician class, general class, and amateur extra. Let us describe each of the amateur radio license classes. Let's start with the technician class. The technician class amateur radio license is an entry-level license. It is awarded after applicants complete a 35-question multiple-choice written examination. The license grants full operating privileges on all amateur bands above 30 MHz and limited rights in portions of the high-frequency band. What about the general class? The general class is the middle level. It requires passage of the technician test and a 35-question multiple-choice general exam. General class licenses are granted privileges on portions of all amateur bands and access most amateur HF bandwidth. And lastly, let us discuss about the amateur extra. Amateur Extra Class is the top U.S. license class. It requires the same test as general plus a 50-question multiple-choice jury exam. 
those with amateur extra licenses are granted all privileges on all U.S. amateur vans. Most new amateur operators start at the technician class and then we advance to the general class or amateur extra class. Now how to obtain a technician class amateur license? Now that we know who provides the amateur radio licenses and the class preference, how do we obtain one? Specifically the technician class which is the entry level. Earning your FCC technician license is as simple as passing the 35 question FCC element to multiple choice written exam. It's not complicated and does not require passing Morse code. All you need to do is study some of the FCC rules and regulations and learn a little about how radios and repeater systems work. With a bit of preparation, the element to FCC exam is easy to pass. And what are the privileges can the technician class license give? The technician license allows you to go on air using all the UHF and VHF amateur radio bands. The bands are generally for local contacts and regional emergency communication and to experiment with bits of the longer range HF or high frequency radio bands. How can we proceed with an amateur radio examination? The best way to apply for an amateur radio examination is by following the ARRL and FCC website's suggested routes. As mentioned on these websites, the requirements are a valid US mailing address, a valid tax, tax identification number, or FCC registration number. A request for an examination by contacting a volunteer examiner team is also needed. Usually, there are schedules of exam almost every week. The Amateur Radio Relay League posts the time and places on its website. What do I need to do to study and review for passing the test? There are also several ways to study for the technician exam. FCC provides a questions pool for everyone to read, familiarize, and review. PDF copies of this questions pool are available online. Amateur radio clubs in the United States also pro provide free classes. They are also available online. You can further take the sample tests online and learn if your answers were correct and if not, the correct ones. By practicing online tests, you will eventually know the answers to all questions in the FCC exam question pool and you can pass the licensure examination. Dear viewers, we have given you the basics of passing the FCC licensure examination for the entry-level amateur radio license. For more information, we suggest you visit the important links provided in the video's description below. Good luck! Good day and God bless!